Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Hello again, greetings to all cat lovers. I am Bogdan from Royal Sphinx Catry Europe. And uh, if you follow us, you know that one of our kittens has had uh, problems for a few weeks. It's about uh, Freya here. Little Freya fractured her femur two weeks ago and uh, is now recovering. As you see in, in the intro, it's, it's okay now, but please follow this video to understand what happened and uh, maybe it can be helpful to you. I've created also a playlist of video I've posted since uh, Freya got injured. You can find the link in the, in the description of this video. Now I'm gonna tell you what happened and I hope the information as I said maybe it can be helpful for other pet lovers who may experience uh, these less enjoyable moments yeah so stay with me until the end of this video to find out the whole story and how everything went. Everything started on 20 of May. I went that day for the first time with Freya to the clinic in the city where we recently moved because the day before she had uh, started sneezing, making uh, abnormal uh, yellow discharge in her eyes and started to uh, slightly limping, let's say. Yeah, she didn't walk correctly. I thought it was a cold or the onset of conjunctivitis common in cats, but to understand also why she was limping, I decided to take her to the vet, because that was not uh, normal. After the visit, the vet said that it's conjunctivitis and a small cold, and the limping could be due to fever or because she is not peeing or pooing in time, maybe too much, too much uh, poop inside her. So I paid the visit and the medicine 59.40 euro. I will attach uh, all the documents here, but uh, for privacy reasons I will delete the the address and the name of the office. We went home, I administered the, the antibiotic eye cream, the pills, also antibiotic, that the doctor prescribed for 10 days. Shortly after I gave her the treatment, Freya no longer got to her feet but started walking on her stomach. So I called the vet again to explain the problem and I returned to the clinic with her in the same day. This time she did a x-ray to see if Freya had anything broken and that x-ray I personally did not see it but only the doctor. The result was that she had nothing, they gave her uh, an injection and said that probably because of the fever she reacted like that. So it's gonna recover. I paid again that day 72 euro for the x-ray and the injection and got back home. So May 20 ended with diagnosis cold and conjunctivitis, treatment, antibiotic pills and eye cream. Total price was 131.4 euro. Indeed, Freya began to recover slowly, slowly after the treatment and began to do uh, a little better in the following days. The first days I isolated her from uh, her brothers and sister so as not to transmit the cold. And after almost a week she was no longer limping and has recovered almost completely. But on June 2 I noticed again that uh, she had uh, mild mucus and lameness so I thought the cold had returned. The next day it was worse and uh, on the 4th uh, June I went to the clinic again because Freya was only sitting down and uh, was not moving with the back legs and that was very problematic, very strange. This time at the clinic I came across to another doctor who checked her and uh, did an abdominal ultrasound believing that the reason uh, she wasn't doing well was that she hasn't pooped and peed for a while again. The doctor said that the ultrasound came out okay and assumed like her colleague that because of the cold and not pooing it's like that and that she will recover if we continue the treatment. But in my mind I already started to, to doubt about that. So this time she gave her gentamicin 40 milligram to be assimilated by sauna. Being there, as the kittens are still in uh, the deworming period, I also bought the pills for, uh, for June to continue the deworming treatment. So June 4, they ended with diagnosis, cold and conjunctivitis, treatment, sauna with gentamicin. The price 80.30 euro. I went home, gave her the treatment and hoped that the next day Freya would be better. Unfortunately, the next morning Freya didn't get up at all with her hind legs and uh, she also started to, to cry and we decided that moment to go to the vet urgently, but this time in Germany 
because it's very close to us. We are in, uh, based in St. Louis, France, in the border with Switzerland and Germany. So we call it a veterinary office that was open on Sunday and went there immediately. We choose to go to, to another vet because I, I had lost confidence in those I went to, to twice with the same problem and the result we were told that was nothing but just a cold so you understand maybe at least i found it hard to believe that limping was a result of cold but i listened to the doctor uh, thinking he knew better no so it's normal we arrived at the veterinary office in germany and after an hour of waiting we went for the for the checkup the doctor started to check it her little by hand and immediately took her for an x-ray which this time we were able to see it they they show it to us so the result was femoral fracture so we went a little crazy when we found out about that and the problem was that they could not perform a surgery because Freya is too small and fragile and the broken bone could not be put in position and tied from the outside because the bones are very very small and the position does not allow to fix the femoral bone like that is you need a surgery for this the doctor was afraid it could hurt her more so decided to stay that way and hope that the bone could some somehow catch on she immediately gave her an analgesic to relieve the pain and the dose of calcium and uh, vitamin d the doctor advice was to continue the treatment with the vitamins and also to change the diet with something more rich in vitamins now freya is eating uh, royal canin veterinary care cat nutrition pediatric growth until she will recover completely so the day ended like this the diagnosis was femur fracture and conjunctivitis, the treatment, calcium 500, vitamin D and rest for the fracture and antibiotic eye cream for conjunctivitis. Total price 157 euro. We have been uh, advised to isolate her from her siblings for a longer period of time because she wants to play but it's not good for her to get up and uh, and, and play until the, the bone is caught. So at that moment we were sad but also calmer because we found out the case at least. We suspect that we could have uh, avoided Freya breaking her femur because initially it was just cracked and uh, cut back in the week she had uh, a cold. That because she didn't move much at uh, that time, was isolated from her siblings for a few days so she recovered a little. But the following week she broke her femoral bone probably when she was playing with her siblings, being very active and playful during this time. So I started to document Freya's recovery for uh, over a week now. Day three, after the treatment, she stood up and uh, we were very happy to see her walking again, even if she was uh, limping. Also that she will not feel alone, I brought her brothers and sister to give her a little love and attention. Freya usually gets along very well with Baldur, her brother, and all this time, Every day for a few hours we bring Baldur to her because he is not so aggressive when uh, they play together. He's a sweetheart who takes care of his uh, little sisters. Other things we did twice we tried to breedfeed Freya from uh, Mother Nix and we have succeeded even if she didn't want to leave them uh, as before, Baldur uh, also joining the party. Many of you from the community have asked the cause and uh, how Freya is feeling now. As you already understand, we suspect that she cracked her femoral bone while playing before the first visit to the vet because during this time some kittens began to climb on the house where they sleep and uh, from which they then jump and repeat the process like a, like a game. So it's something new for them. We suspect that Freya did the, the same but being the smallest and the most fragile of them we think she did the wrong jump and then the trouble happened. The doctor also told us that her bones may be weaker during this time because she does not assimilate enough calcium. That is a fairly common problem in purebred cats. Most often affected are uh, young kittens of Siamese, Scottish, British breeds as well as sphinxes. Nix, the mother, is not anymore nursing uh, all the kittens for some time and Freya is one of the first uh, kittens to stop drinking milk after the first deworming also. The food we give our kittens since we dewormed them may not compensate enough for the calcium they normally absorb to their mother milk. Their diet consists of Purina 1 Junior Croquette, wet food sockets and mixed raw meat twice a week. But until Freya will recover, we offer to other kittens the same diet like hers. So 
Now everyone eats Royal Canin Veterinary Care Cat Nutrition Pediatric Growth after which we easily switch them to the normal diet but we will also supplement with uh, vitamins such as calcium and vitamin d for a while whether they have problems or not vitamins are okay for them especially now that they are are growing so it's a good thing during the recovery period as i said restriction of mobility is prescribed so that the bones that have not yet become strong do not break from incorrect movements so for this the kitten is placed in a crampet cage, carrier or box, we use a box. Also this is being done to reduce soreness when moving. So if you are an owner of a cat and you discover the symptoms as Freya had, you should take your kitten or cat immediately to the surgeon or to a good vet. If such symptoms appear, do not try to treat the cat by your own efforts. This problem should be solved by a, a professionals. I don't know, indeed if they are not in serious condition, you can give them maybe calcium 500 and vitamin D and they will definitely recover because it, it's a strong vitamin but to avoid other inconveniences is best to consult a serious specialist. I also recommend you not to postpone going to, to a good vet or surgeon. After all Freya as you understand received only an injury in the beginning but it ended with a complex fracture and maybe if we had discovered the cause earlier, as I said, maybe now she wouldn't suffer like that. I wish you to be a responsible cat owner and uh, follow the healthy state of your global pet. And most importantly, a great lesson for us this time, choose your veterinary very wisely. We are very happy because now Freya is doing much better and we will continue the treatment until she recovers completely. At the end of this video I will leave you uh, with a few moments captured during the, her recovery so that you can get an idea of the progress she has made. I hope the info can help other pet owners. Thank you again for the beautiful messages and for the good energy Freya has, has received from, from you on the community posts and uh, if you want to support uh, your favorite kitten so you can do it through small donation using the super thanks button below the video as you know we will use the money to buy gifts for the kittens and every time we buy something new we upload a, a video with their reaction like the one where i uh, bought the tree house and uh, the other toy you can also help the kittens and the uh, other cats owners with a simple share of this video and a like don't forget to subscribe uh, to our kitten channel if you haven't already and click the bell be notified when we upload a new video we try to bring the informations and uh, funny videos every week not just sad moments as this one so until next time i wish you all the best and uh, take care of your uh, beloved pets bye bye Thank mm -hmm. you.